Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the application of total differentials on a supply function, which is slightly um, augmented with uh, an unusual factor, and that is rainfall. Because we know supply function is usually, uh, you know, dependent upon the level of price. But what if rainfall has a role to play? Because it happens in agricultural production functions. So let us see how we can calculate the uh, elasticities with respect to price and with respect to the rainfall of a supply function. You can see that we have an interesting sort of uh, supply function and this positive sign is showing that price ke saad is quantity ka positive relationship. So if even if agar hum s na bhi likhe, to isse fark nahi padega. We know that this is a supply function. Interestingly, yahan par p ki par jo hai wo 2 hai. It's a quadratic function. It's a non-linear function. And the most noticeable thing is the inclusion of R, which is rainfall. Rainfall ka bhi humne is supply function mein add kiya. And you can see that rainfall is positively associated with the supply. It means that it is some sort of agricultural production function where the supply of the agricultural produce is dependent upon the rainfall. If rainfall is higher, the agricultural produce is also higher. So it will be interesting to find out the elasticities for these two independent variables. And uh, before we go ahead, we should also realize that what are the various values of the parameters involved in it. A is considered to be less than zero, that is it is considered to be negative, and B is considered to be positive. As we have already understood that there is a positive relationship between price and quantity supplied. Now, what we are going to understand here is the price elasticity of demand initially and price elasticity of, uh, it should be supply, right? So, it is actually the price elasticity of supply and this is the formula for that which you can use after calculating the derivative and that is something we are going to do on the next slide. Here you can see, humne right hand side face panel ke, we have calculated the derivative with respect to price because hum price ke lihaas se calculations karna cha rahe. and you can do this uh, simple calculation yourself as well to verify the answer however in my opinion is 2bp now we should note this and we are going to use it in the formula of elasticity of supply with respect to price here you can see it is the derivative and here we have q over p the value of q is definitely the original function that we started our calculations with और उसके बाद हम इसको सिंपलीफाई करेंगे यू कैन गेस के रेसिप्रोकलाइज करने से हमारा मामला जो है वो हल होगा सो so ये जो हमारे पास डिनोमिनेटर है इसको हम रेसिप्रोकलाइज करेंगे तो so ये जो p है नाउ इट इज अपीयरिंग इन द न्यूमिनेटर रेसिप्रोकलाइज होके एंड बिकम्स p स्क्वायर आफ्टर गेटिंग मल्टीप्लाइड विद दिस p और जो डिनोमिनेटर है इट रिमेंस एज इट इज तो आपने देखा कि हमने प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सप्लाई को कैलकुलेट किया इन दिस केस which is likely to be positive because as the price goes up, the quantity supplied is also likely to rise. We can calculate the numerical value of it as well as soon as we have the numerical values of P, B, R and A. We can put them and we can get the numerical values which are more easy and comprehensive to interpret and understand. Now we are coming to the next variable which was the rainfall that can affect the quantity supplied and this is the modification in the formula of elasticity for this case where the rainfall elasticity of supply is to be found. Uske liye notation humne ER ya epsilon R use kiya or you can guess that we are to differentiate the supply function with respect to rainfall. This is simple differentiation which you can do in detail and then you can verify if the answer is the same while getting the rehearsal and we are going to put this value into the numerator and you can see that already we have put that value and qs is already substituted and r remains the same so in this way humne rainfall elasticity of supply mein apni values ko jo available thi put kar diya ab aap isko cancel out kar sakte hain it will become square root of r and it will remain the same so finally we have found the rainfall elasticity of supply and that is likely to be positive 
because as the rainfall increases we can expect that the quantity supplied of agricultural produce is likely to increase though the relationship is not that straightforward because excess rain can also be detrimental for the agricultural produce so till a certain level we can expect the relationship is positive having numerical values of these variables will enable us to have a numerical value of er and that will be more interpretable which we can rehearse by using any other numerical example so this is how we can calculate interesting types of elasticity by employing the differentials thank you